Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So I have one of my good friends, Imani. Now, to be honest, it took me a while to say her name right, almost like a year. <laughs> I called her Vimaris forever. But it's not like that. <laughs> so um, I invited her here. We're gonna do like a little girl chat video. And um, let's go ahead and get started okay, in the questions. So first thing, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, obviously my name is Ramirez, <laughs> but b <-Maris>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm Hispanic, I'm Puerto Rican, obviously, from the beautiful Iceland. Um, mm -hmm. What can I say? Um, I'm a co-passer, I'm a pastor's kid, mm -hmm. that's what I can say. Um, what else? I sing, I'm engaged, <laughs> people are engaged. I'm like, what are you going to say? <laughs> Um, <laughs> he's Puerto Rican too. <laughs> um, I speak English and Spanish, obviously, but my first language is Spanish. Um, well, I come from a small town from Mount Nabo. Um, I have a sister. Her name is Angelica. Um, she's gonna <laughs> graduate, so oh, oh my, you people know. <laughs> um, like I said, my dad, he's a pastor. Um, my mom, we have been all together, or four of us have been together working on this ministry. Um, what can I say? I'm 21 and I'm gonna be 22, October 18th. <laughs> gifts, that would be so much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna put it <laughs> right there, I'll like in the comments. Yeah. The comments. <laughs> um, I said I sing, right? I preach too, I ministry. Um, what else can I say? I don't know, you know. I think I'm, you narrated it all. Yeah, up. I think <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes. She is like so amazing in every ministry that she does. <laughs> like, honestly. Like, one thing that we have in common is that, well, we both balance work. Yeah, that's true. You know, sometimes school. You know, ministry and mm -hmm. maintaining our relationship with our family and stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. What do you think is like your main tips to how you balance everything? Have balance. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, like right now, back in Puerto Rico, I used to study and have my ministry at the church because not only working with my dad, but I used to work with the pastors. You know, from the church that I used to go. Um, Honestly, it was really difficult because I used to go to school in the night. Then when I got out from school, I used to go to the church. So it was like trying to do all, like everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I don't know how I, I didn't get tired of it. But it was so much fun, honestly. My mind was so, so occupied. Mm -hmm. um, like different kind of way like I used to like studying then I just you know try to read the Bible or pray like it was mm -hmm. so many like a bunch of stuff at the same time yeah and like now to be here it's like I'm working and I'm doing you know the ministry at the church with my dad outside like I go to different kind of churches to preach and sing so my tips for that honestly try every single time to check what you're doing that day like mm -hmm. you know before you start the day yeah obviously saying you know thank you God for this day and all this stuff um, but then like try to okay today I'm gonna do this this then this and like try to make like a um, how do you say like a calendar for your day and that'll be so good I notice if I, I like I have a routine like every mm -hmm. morning I wake yeah. up and I pray and then I read my Bible or do some kind of Bible study mm -hmm. and if I don't do it, my whole I know, day right? is ruined. Like when I work, woke up in the morning, I'm like, okay, if I don't say thank you God exactly, say, or try to pray in my car because I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to do it back in Puerto Rico, and I still do it here. <laughs> I'm like, okay, God, so I'm going to work right now. You know how it is. You know, I I love what I do. I just need you, you know, to give me more strength to do it. You know, it has been like, it's a 
you know, like a crazy road, but yeah. it's so much fun because God is by your side, yes. like I said before. So it's really good. He makes it a lot easier. Yep, that's true. So, um, one thing about like us is we both, well, I've been married almost two years now and mm -hmm. you've been dating for about like a year, yeah, a year and a half, half yeah. something like that. So like... The funny thing is, when I first met you, you were like single, not dating anybody, oh. just living your life. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she's like telling me about this boy named Anthony. And I'm just like oh, looking at no, you like, yeah. okay, is this going to be like a thing or is this going to be like just another little, you know, yeah. whatever. And before you know it, like it just kept going and just kept going. And I just remember like, oh, wow. okay, I think this is getting pretty serious. And it has been. <laughs> um, oh, Lord, like, honestly, I, I didn't imagine I was gonna, you know, find the one that I'm gonna marry, like the person that God chose for me. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I didn't thought that was gonna, that, I didn't thought that was gonna happen now. Probably like in a few, you know, That's years, how I felt too. something like that. Cause I'm 21. And I thought, you know, I was gonna get married like 25, mm -hmm. something like that. I thought I was gonna get um, married at like 28. Yeah, I'm telling <laughs> you, like, I didn't so, thought like, it was gonna be like that. And, cause obviously, you know, I did before had, you know, a relationship with someone, but then it worked out. So I was like, well, you know, something like right now, I just focus on my life, just do, you know, what I love, obviously, um, ministry and all this stuff, you know, just keep going, doing what I love. Yeah. And that's it. Like, if so God some has something for me, He would bring it, you know, in His yeah. time. But honestly, I didn't thought it was going to be that fast because I moved from Puerto Rico. And um, I remember I came in, in November and I used to live in Florida for like three months. And then my dad decided to come to White Cross because obviously, you know, um, finances and other stuff. Yeah. Um, and I remember that before um, we left Florida, we went to his church. So that's so funny because um, when I went to the, his church, like I just saw a bunch of um you you know, a bunch of um young people and other stuff, but I never saw him. Uh, and I was like, okay, you know, like I'm just going to White Cross, you know. I was so sad, obviously because I love Florida. And the people that knows me, I love Florida. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. It's just kinda like the scene where I came from. And yeah. it's so much fun, honestly. Very um, diverse. I know. People and, from like all the city over. and all this stuff. I love it. The I beach, love it. Oh, everything. it's so good. So um like I went to his church and I never saw him. So I remembered that the pastor invited us again for April. Mm -hmm. So um, to his, I think it was the anniversary for the church. And I remember that I went and I think um, I told my, my family, you know, that I was not going to try to not have a relationship for a, you know, a long time and all this stuff. And someone came to me before I think before that week that we went to um, Florida to preach to his church and that person told me hey uh, what God has for you it probably would come before you know bef before, before you think you yeah. know so um, it's not gonna be the time that you think it's gonna be no it's gonna be probably like in a week or months or a year I'm like has to be so no, this is so crazy, honestly. I was like, whatever, what the heck you're talking about? I'm not, I'm not getting married, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna live my single life for now. Like, I'm not gonna be with someone, <laughs> honestly. So, it was so funny, because I went to his church, and then someone from his church told me before I met him, like, in that moment, that person said, oh, probably the person that God has for you is right here in this church. I was like... Nah, cause I, you know, I saw every, every single guy from the church, I'm like, no, I don't think so, probably, you know, from another, from another church, but I don't think it's gonna be here. So I remember that, um, as soon as I got, um, 
you know, through the doors to enter the, um, um, how you say that word? Um, the sanctuary. The yeah. So, um, I know the pastor gave me the mic to sing and other stuff because my dad was going to preach. So when I saw, like, it was something so crazy because I saw someone looking at me and I know everybody was looking at me, but I felt that someone, you know, was looking at, looking at me like from another eyes, you know, something, mm -hmm. you know, looking with another yeah. reason. So I was like, what is going on? And when I saw him, I said, that is not the guy I read. <laughs> Friend the devil, he is not looking at me. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but I know I didn't focus on that. I just keep singing and praising the Lord. And it was so funny, honestly. It was so funny. Because then when I got um, to the, like, they have like a small um, room, you know, to have activities mm -hmm. and all that stuff. When I got to that room, I know the first two first person that came to me it was you know my father-in-law and my mother-in-law they came um and said hello i already met him met them but i never thought that was you know their his kid like yeah. um, i never thought that he was their son yeah. so it was so funny i was like they were talking about um their son like he's 21 he's 20 and he loves to do this and this and that he has a house you know the yeah. basic stuff and i was like I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, I don't. I don't know your son, honestly. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to him. But in that moment, I remember that my dad and my father-in-law came both together with him. I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> and my dad said, "Hey, Bimaris, um, this is Louis' um son." And I was like, "What?" That guy that I just saw him yeah. was looking at me. <laughs> no way. And he was like, hi. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was so funny. And then, you know, obviously Facebook helps you a lot. <laughs> so um, he sent me a friend request. And from that day until now, God has been so good. He blessed me with him. He chose him to be, you know, my future husband, and it has been so good. It has been so crazy, cause um, like at first I didn't know that he used to be um my cousin's friend, and like me and my cousin we are very close, like close, close. And to know that back in Puerto Rico, when he used to live over there, um, he used to be my cousin's wow. friend. He used to live 15 minutes from where I live, and I was like, what the heck? That's this is crazy. so crazy. And this is the thing, like my dad used to know his family, and I used to know his um, uncle and other stuff. I used to go a lot um, to the store grocery store where he lives mm -hmm. and i never saw him and i'm like oh probably i saw him i never you know like see him eye yeah. to eye but it has been like a crazy road and thing when god do something he does it in mysterious way yes. and that's what um i have been loving about this doing like seeing everything in such a such a mysterious way mm -hmm. that um like you never imagined that that was gonna happen mm -hmm. and honestly I, I ever thought you know every single time that you think okay the per the right person for me like for my the, my future husband will be like someone that I already know mm -hmm. or someone that I met you know in one of the churches that I used to go but like in a church that only went like two times and mm -hmm. that's it, it has been now, <laughs> I go every single month. <laughs> yeah. Like it has been so crazy, but I love this journey. I love what God has done. Like my, sh my life has changed a lot. Mm -hmm. I think since when I, honestly, since I moved here from now it has been like, I, I honestly, I'm like, okay, what God's gonna do now? Like, I don't, I can't expect nothing. Because yeah. it has been such, such mysterious things, like so many stuff that I'm like, okay, what I'm gonna, like, what's gonna happen now? Like, it has been crazy. And I love this journey, honestly. I really love it. Exactly. It's so funny because, <laughs> like, it's kind of similar with me and Mike because we actually been to a lot of the same conferences mm, yeah. had a lot of the same mm -hmm. mutual friends and everything and like i never i couldn't believe like 
it took us that long yeah, to like I know, see each other, right? each other. Like I never heard anything about him, his family, like nothing until like the very day like he came to mm -hmm. my job. Yeah. Which was so crazy. So it's so like you said, it's so weird how God mm -hmm. works yeah, in I mysterious know, ways. I know. So it's so it was really good, honestly. Mm -hmm. God is good. I'm telling you, God is good. He's he's so good. <laughs> Um, so being in ministry and your transition from ministry in Puerto mm -hmm. Rico to ministry here, here where do yeah. you see that you've grown or lessons you've learned and things like that? Um, in Puerto Rico, I can say I used to be more a leader. Well, I'm still a leader, but you know, it was more with the youth and all this stuff. Um, like I used to ministry a lot with the youth, not with the old people not old people you know adults <laughs> <laughs> but uh, old people too you know but um like i used to go more out to ministry with the you not with mm -hmm. the um grown-ups and other stuff um like i have been growing a lot with my with my ministry um because like to see what i used to do back in puerto rico to now like Obviously, my spiritual life has grown a lot because now I just I do more than what I used to do. Not only you know talking to when I used to talk to you, it was just with them, and I used to have a good relationship with, with God. But you know, I used to oh, every single time I used to pray like God, um, work with the you. You know, I used to balance not balance. You know, I used to focus just on one thing, but now it's just to focus with a church so it's so different yeah. from what I used to do like um, now I had to pray from my you know from the people from the church now I had to pray not only for my life you know for the families the people that are outside you know it's so different like you're not ministering the you now you're ministering to the church like preaching a Sunday that is so difficult oh, I'm telling you it's so difficult <laughs> like, I, sometimes I cry I'm like Lord please just give me a message like I can't do it right <laughs> like mm -hmm. it's so hard because you don't know what to you know what to say to a bunch of people like sitting right there and you're, yeah you want to make so sure like God sometimes wants. especially like when you're young I don't know if you felt that but like right now like like when I preach at the church or preach in another church I'm like okay I have to like make sure what I'm saying because they're like there's grown-ups that probably they know of more than me so I'm like okay if I say this wrong this good you know people are gonna know so like I always try to make sure and pray yes. to God hey God just give me you know the not intelligence but um the wisdom. that can be yeah the wisdom yeah. that can be wise what i'm saying like every single time i pray a lot i'm like god please help me because i'm telling you i can't do this by myself like you can't do this by yourself so i have been grown a lot see how you know my life has been from what i am now um God has been so faithful, um, like I said, in the good times and the bad times. Because, um, like, honestly, I never thought that I would, you know, I would be so blessed having you guys in my life, having the church in my life. I never thought that God was going to do all this and that I was going to become, you know, now like a co-pastor. I never thought that God, you know, God was going to do that in this time i thought that was gonna be you know when i was a little bit more you know like yeah. my 25 or something like that um but to see that god is faithful with what he says mm. that he's faithful on um, faithful with his word like he never doubts about you and that's so good like to see that god doesn't doubt about me that i'm walking in the right path like it's so good like, honestly it's so good because like it has been a change like a big change in my life like i see the friends that i used to have to see what um the friends that i have now like oh everything everything this has been a change um because here's the thing i met you guys at the church so this is all a part of it you know mm -hmm. like to see um with the friends that I used to have or the people that I used to work at the church to see what the people that I work now 
that makes your life, especially to your spiritual life, grow more. Mm -hmm. So I have been growing a lot, you know, with all this change in my life. <laughs> but if you can tell yourself maybe like five years ago when you're starting ministry and wanting mm -hmm. to pursue this, mm -hmm. you know, what would you tell yourself five years ago? What? Oh my God. <laughs> like, what advice would you give yourself five years ago? I would have said, um, like, first, like I said, don't doubt about you. Jesus loves you. Like, he really loves you. Don't forget about the stuff that he has for you. Um, I would have said, like, please make sure, like I said, make sure that you're doing the right decisions. Like, don't regret the stuff that he wants for you like don't regret regret the stuff that you can do because that's the thing that's something that you have to like focus to like like i said you have to be committed so that's working with yourself like god has god had god can do some stuff but the other stuff is you know it's on you yeah. so like i would say myself like make sure what you're doing make sure you know that you want to make the right decisions well thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being my special <laughs> guest today you're welcome we'll definitely have to do one more video before oh, you yeah. leave me <laughs> she's leaving me going off <sighs> being married well hello <laughs> <laughs> well thank you guys for watching you're welcome.